This is the build of an SCA scroll made from a leather archery quiver based from the Hedeby find and artwork inspired by tombstones from the Isle of Man. I brought the Manx artwork that I found into Illustrator and overlaid it on the pattern of the quiver. From there, I created the elements of the repeating pattern, tweaking them to my liking, and then arraying them up the quiver. Once that was established, I cleaned up the over-under pattern so that when I printed it, only the lines that I wanted would be visible. I was then able to add a compass star at the bottom, which is part of the populace badge of the Kingdom of North Shield. Here I'm casing the leather in order to prepare it for carving and tooling. Um, I'm soaking it with the paper towel and letting it sit for a couple hours before coming back and overlaying the pre-printed piece to trace the image onto the leather. Uh, tracing it here with a ballpoint pen will leave a, a faint impression in the leather that I can then follow back with the swivel knife. Dragging along to actually cut the skin. Then I'm coming in with a chisel uh, I figured it was only appropriate for runes to actually use a cold chisel here uh, to transfer the runes of the scroll text. Now that everything is carved into the leather, I can start on the tooling. Uh, tooling is the process of uh, crushing the leather fibers down to give the depth and texture. Uh, here I'm using a regular beveling tool to highlight each of the lines and offset the knotwork from the background of the leather. Next up I'm going to punch the holes for the lacing to attach the pieces together. Here I'm using a small uh, lacing pliers Now I'm going to assemble the tabs that will be used to hang the quiver. Um, I use some Super 77 spray adhesive to hold the thinner leather together while I can then cut it out to size and punch the edges for the laces and cut the holes. I then use the Feebing's leather dye in an airbrush to give all of the leather parts a nice even coat of blue. After wiping off the excess dye, I applied some waterproofing wax to the inside of the quiver. It was then time to start the long process of sewing everything together. I realized that the holes were very close together and too small for the needle that I was using. So I had to go through and open up each hole with an awl. When I got to that portion of the side, I inserted the triangle into the seam. On the second side, instead of doing it in the stitching horse, I opened up all the holes with an awl beforehand.
I could no longer get a grip with the stitching horse, so I had to do it all with it just sitting on the table. I used the Tandy Kova colors to paint the design to help it pop. This required multiple coats in order to get a nice solid color. While the first coat was drying, I trimmed the top of the quiver to its final length. I painted the compass star in silver to help make it pop. Then it was ready to treat the edges and give a final seal over all of the surfaces.